Good morning class. In today's video, we're going to review indefinite and negative words. Those are the ones like the ones you see on your screen. So the first thing that I would like you to know is that you have to think of this in terms of sets. On the one part, you're going to have the indefinite words and on the second part, you're going to have the negative words. The indefinite words you're going to be using in your questions. Do you have some of this? The first set is algo versus nada. Something versus nothing. So if you go to the store, you might ask, do you have some sugar? Now we're going to be using algo because sugar is not something that you can count like apples, for example. So sugar, you're just asking, is there some sugar? So when, whenever you're asking about something that you can't really count, you're going to use algo. Tiene algo de azúcar? No, no tengo nada de azúcar. Now let's practice. I made you an inventory of a store and as you can see those are the things that your store doesn't have any of. At the bottom I highlighted in red the ones that you can't really count because there are spices like salt, pepper or turmeric. So because you, we can't count them we're gonna be asking do you have some of this? ¿Tiene algo de sal? No, no tengo nada de sal. Try the next one. Hopefully you said ¿Tiene algo de pimienta? And the answer would be, no, no tengo nada de pimienta. Last one. ¿Tiene algo de cúrcuma? No, no tengo nada de cúrcuma. Here's another set for you. Alguien versus nadie. Alguien, somebody or anyone, someone, talking about a person. Nadie, nobody or anyone. In the question, ¿Hay alguien aquí? No, no hay nadie aquí. So in the question, alguien, in the answer, nadie. Let's say that we're wondering if in the classroom there are people like this. Somebody depressed, somebody furious, and so on. ¿Hay alguien deprimido aquí? Is there anybody who's depressed here? The answer would be no. No hay nadie deprimido aquí. There isn't anyone depressed here. Try the next one. ¿Hay alguien furioso aquí? No. No hay nadie furioso aquí. ¿Hay alguien enamorado aquí? No, no hay nadie enamorado aquí. ¿Hay alguien de, de mal humor aquí? No, no hay nadie de mal humor aquí. ¿Hay alguien con hambre aquí? No, no hay nadie con hambre aquí. Here's our last set, some or any versus none or not any. In this slide, I gave you the singular set. So if you're asking about something that you can count, such as melon, apples, shirts, and so on, you're going to be using these words. In the question, you're going to be using algún or alguna, if you're asking about one item, and in the answer, ningún or ninguna. Por ejemplo, ¿tienes algún melón amarillo? Algún. I'm using algún because melón is masculine and singular. Do you have any yellow melon? No, no tengo ningún melon amarillo. So in the answer, I'm using ningún. The question algún, the answer ningún. ¿Tienes alguna camisa de corazones? Do you have any shirt with hearts? Camisa is feminine and it's singular. Therefore, it's not algún, it's alguna. And in the answer, it's not going to be ningún, it's going to be ninguna. No, no tengo ninguna camisa de corazones. And here are the same words, but now these versions are plural. For example, ¿Hay algunos pepinos? Are there any cucumbers? It's algunos. Why? Pepinos. Right? It agrees. Answer. No, no hay ningunos pepinos. ¿Hay algunas fresas orgánicas? Algunas, because fresas is feminine. No, no hay ningunas fresas orgánicas. Let's practice. So here, we're going to be talking about all of these items, and you're going to have to select algún, alguna, algunos, or algunas, depending on whether the item is feminine or masculine and whether they're plural or not. Example. ¿Tiene algunas peras? No. No tengo ningunas peras. Algunas. Why? Because peras is feminine and plural. No, no tengo ningunas peras. 
Likewise, I made ningún feminine and plural. Let's move on to the next one. ¿Tiene algunas manzanas? No, no tengo ningunas manzanas. All right, so now you do the next one. Repollo morado. That is masculine and singular. So hopefully you said this. ¿Tiene algún repollo morado? No, no tengo ningún repollo morado. Go ahead and do the next one. Hopefully you said, ¿Tiene algún espárrago orgánico? No, no tengo ningún espárrago orgánico. Go ahead and do the next one. Hopefully you said, ¿Tiene algunos pimentones rojos? No, no tengo ningunos pimentones rojos. And the last one. Hopefully you said this. ¿Tiene alguna sandía sin semilla? No, no tengo ninguna sandía sin semilla. And those are the three sets that I wanted to share with you. Algo as opposed to nada. Remember, we use algo versus nada whenever we're asking about something that we can't really count, such as salt or sugar and so on. Versus these other words, algún, ningún, and so on, we use those whenever we're asking about things that we can count, like apples or shoes and so on. And then we use alguien and nadie whenever we're asking about a person. Remember, always think of them as sets. We're going to use one of the words, the one on the on the left in the question, and the one on the right, like nada, nadie, whenever we are answering in a negative way. So, I don't have anything, there isn't anybody, or I don't have any of whatever it is that you're asking for. I'm going to have a second part where I'm going to share with you additional sets of words that you guys need to know. So be sure to take a look at that as well. All right, I hope that helped and uh, I'll see you in the next recording. Adios.